Well, these three tips can quickly take your buzzbait fishing to an entirely new level. Number one, as anglers, we are missing the best part of our cast, the best part of our retrieve, I should say, with a buzzbait, and that's that first two to three feet. When those lures, those buzzbaits hit the water, they sink right away. We have to be ready to engage that reel and get that lure coming back on the surface immediately so we don't lose that very important part of the retrieve. Now to do this, you want to make sure that you are tapering that spool speed and slowing it down with your thumb. Okay, so this is best on bait cast equipment. And as that lure is getting to the end of its flight distance, taper it down with your thumb and as soon as it's about stopped or stopped, boom, engage that reel immediately and you'll be so impressed how quickly that buzz bait is starting to come across the surface of the water right away. You're gonna have it going within inches as opposed to cast it out there, it sinks, start to reel it, and then you lose two or three feet. This instantly takes this lure that is traditionally used, let's say for covering massive amounts of water, and now you can use that buzz bait as more of a target lure, target a stump, target a very isolated weed patch because you can get their right to it and get it engaged very very quickly um, and also works well when you're targeting things that are right up tight to the bank when you can't throw past it and bring that buzz bait past that stump sometimes those stumps or weeds or whatever just right there up against the shore and we need to engage that lure immediately Next is to make sure on your retrieve that you're varying a little bit. A buzz bait is one of those lures that people often will cast it out there and then just give it a nice steady retrieve back. And there's times when that works really well. But keep experimenting with little twitches and just give it a little pop every now and then. And what you're looking to do is to get that lure to throw some water. And when it throws more water than it normally does, it creates that fleeing bait fish type of a situation and it can get bass in the area turned on and get those reaction bites going because they feel that there's some feeding action happening and they don't want to miss out. And we also have to remember that our top water lures from underneath from the perspective of the bass that are down there that surface disturbance isn't as big and as much commotion as we see from on top of the water. So when you can just twitch that buzz bait every once in a while and just make it throw water a little bit farther, I think you're gonna trigger some more strikes than you would have if you always relied on just a standard straight retrieve. So mix it up until you figure out what the bass want on that particular day. And the other thing that we need to do as buzzbait anglers is be willing to change size. When it comes to soft plastics or other types of lures, we're always scaling up and down, right? But for whatever reason with the buzzbait, we'll just grab one, tie it on, and then use that one the entire time. Well, buzzbaits come in a variety of sizes and blade types. They'll have holes in the blades, all kinds of different variables that can make a difference between just a few bites and maybe two or three times as many bites. And then something else we need to keep in mind is there are days when these really tiny buzz baits, these are the ticket. Now, obviously this isn't gonna work great on a day when you've got, you know, some pretty decent chop on the water. This is gonna be for smaller chop or where you've got just very calm conditions. But these very finesse type buzz baits, they can do an excellent job as well. So having a couple different ones out and ready to go can really help you fine tune your top water fishing very much like we would fine tune our soft plastic fishing or jig fishing, crankbait fishing. The same type of thing can apply to our buzz baits. And I think if you take the time to do that, to really figure out these variables, you're one, you're gonna have just, I think, more great top water fishing and you're gonna be able to stretch your top water fishing out over a longer part of the day. And hey, if you wanna watch a video that talks about unlocking the full potential of top waters, everything from those you know, poppers and chugging baits to our whopper ploppers and walking lures, go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For The Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.